Now we're ready this week for the cocktail round. See us in our cocktail finery, <laughs> not. But anyway, so we've still got the liner from the last makeup. Uh, I've redone the base to match it. It's a very blank canvas. It's just foundation, concealer, um, powder. But for this one, I'm going to go a little bit of a dusky bronze goddess Indian skin tone look. I'm going to use some bronzer now. Watch out. To begin with, I'm going to take a bronzer um, and just ask my to smile. Keep rubbing this on the cheeks in rounded motions. Onto the cheeks, to the cheekbones. Let's take some more bronzer. I really want it to be nice and brown. Also, I'm going to take a bit of the bronzer, put it on her forehead. So what this does is catches a lot of shadows, so it's going to make it look really interesting in a second. Now, very quick, easy steps. This is a felt liner. You can use a liquid liner, pencil liner, la -di -da, -di da as long as it's a liner. I'm using a solid black against this red dress, very classic and beautiful. I'm going to ask mine to look dance and just wing this from here. I'm going to wait for that to dry and do it to the other eye as well. See now this liner is coming out far thicker, which I like, so I'm going to continue with that. Again, don't aim for perfection, just have fun with what you're doing. Because you're not all professional makeup artists. And if I can't get it right the first time, neither can you. So you see, I'm taking the Q-tip and trying to make it a little bit of a finer point by rubbing away the I'm going to do a second coat of uh, liner just over this later on, let that dry for now. The next thing I'm going to do is take a bit of a highlight and just put it on the inner corners of her eyes, right there, like that. This will just give the eyes a bit of a pop and open them up. Don't worry if you get a little excess, you can just take a clean brush and go over it again so it picks up product from the eye. I'm going to take a little bit of the foundation that I've used in, um, on Maya, which is really just a CC cream, and I'm going to pat that on the lips. So we really want this muted out mouth, which is really quite matte, um, and it's a no fuss sort of mouth, just clean, without any makeup at all, except for this little foundation. So you see what a beautiful. What we're doing is we're just taking the balance, toning it down a bit, and letting the eyes do all the talking. I'm going in once more with my liner over this, just to get it really nice and black. Remember not to overthink the liner. Don't don't aim at getting it exactly the same identical Xerox copies. Just have fun with your makeup because that's more important. Now the last thing I'm gonna do with makeup is take a highlighter. This is a liquid highlighter. See, it's quite a golden sort of thing, quite beautiful. I'm gonna ask her to smile again and put this on the, uh, what do you call these things? The cheekbones and just blend that with my finger. You see that? It's quite a lot of gold, but I'm going to just blend that with my finger. You can even put some on the brow bone if you have excess. It's not a blending. Blending means you're friending. Blending, 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 blending is also trending. How's that? <laughs> I like it. I love it. What this is going to do is your photographs are going to come out beautifully. It's just going to look divine. So I'm just going to put that on the brow bone. A gold highlight. Smile, the cheeks and the cheekbones. So you see I've gone I've gone deeper on the colouring which has really taken a lot more sun. So I'm also giving it that healthy that health to the skin. So not only are we beautifully deep and exotic, but we're also healthy with our skin. Finally I'm gonna put some of this on the bridge of the nose like so just a little bit. I'm not taking too much, just whatever's left on my finger, I'm just taking that, rubbing it and then putting it on the bridge of the nose. This is gonna give it a nice highlight look that much more sharper. Now what I'm going to do is simply take back all of Maya's hair. Can you throw back your head for me down? So literally in a low ponytail. I'm not using a brush because I still want it to be modern and have a nice finger combed texture as opposed to a brush or a comb itself. Um, you can either make it hard and keep it behind the ears like so. Um, or you can keep it softer over the years, which is more feminine. I'm gonna keep it slightly softer. You've seen me using a bungee band before. It's an elastic with hooks on both ends. Spin my eye around, take my bungee band, hook this on one side, wrap the bungee around itself, 
and hook it in itself right there, like so. Right, so this way it'll never come loose. See, so we just have this texturized ponytail there. I don't want this fringe on the face, I want all the hair away. So I'm gonna take this behind here. And just with a pin, an unopened bobby pin, just weave it into the hair. Finally, just a mist of hairspray. Just to get rid of the baby hairs, and just direct it. Direct it over. So it just has some stay. You can also spray on your fingers and then just weave that into the hair. I really love Maya's big forehead, uh, and I think it's important to embrace the things that are unique about our faces. Now, to finish off the look, I've got this lovely cuff. But, so you're just gonna push that into her ear hole and then clasp that onto the ear there and put that on right so there you go. Uh -huh. There you go and texturize the back there, the ponytail. And our non-alcoholic beverage, <laughs> H2O. Cheers. <laughs> See you next week for the reception. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to my channel, and share it with all your friends. This is especially for all those henna hands. I'm going to show you how to start with the same canvas, 